The German Lop is a hardy rabbit, ideally weighing between 6 to 8 pounds once it is fully grown. It is muscular all around, especially in the rump area, which should also be short and well-rounded. Its large ears are thick and hang straight down just behind its eyes, measuring anywhere from 11 to 14 inches. German Lop Breed History German Lop originated in Germany when breeders wanted to develop a medium-sized Lop. French Lops and Netherland Dwarfs were bred together in order to create the German Lop and other breeds were introduced at a later stage, giving the rabbit its distinctive Roman nose. In 1960, this rabbit breed was shown in Saarbrücken, West Germany, and was officially recognized in 1970 under the name Deutsche Klein Witter. It was imported into Holland in 1972 and standardized in the Netherlands in 1976 and in Switzerland in 1984. The breed was also recognized by the British Rabbit Council in 1990 and today, it is the third most popular lop behind the miniature and dwarf lop. Coat Like other lops, the German lop has normal length, dense hair fibers and strong guard hairs. Despite this, its coat does not require much care to keep it in tip-top shape. Simply run damp hands over the coat every other week or use a slicker brush to get rid of any stray hairs. Health This rabbit breed does not have any particular disease or health issues, however, it does tend to suffer from sore hocks if kept in an enclosure with a wire bottom. Should you keep your rabbit mostly outdoors, be aware of fly strike, especially in hotter months. This occurs when flies lay their eggs in soiled parts of your rabbit's fur, and once the eggs hatch, Feed on the rabbit. This is painful for your rabbit and can even be lethal. Be sure to take your rabbit to your vet to get it treated as soon as you notice it. Check your rabbit's mouth every two weeks for overgrown teeth, as rabbit's teeth never stop growing. If your German Lops diet is low in the hay, teeth can continue to grow into its face and jaw. Veterinarians can usually treat any infection due to overgrown teeth and shave teeth down to a manageable length. Finally, every rabbit should be periodically checked for ear mites, as it is a common problem with rabbits that are mostly kept outdoors. German lop bucks can be neutered as young as three and a half months old, while this can be spayed at four months old. Some veterinarians tend to wait until the doe is older, as it poses less of a risk. Temperament. This long life means owning a German lop as a pet or show animal is definitely a commitment. Having said that, its docile, affectionate nature makes it an excellent pet for seniors, singles, couples, and families. In order to be properly socialized, German Lops need to spend a minimum of approximately 4 hours a day out of their enclosure, allow it to explore its environments, and also encourage interaction with other people, whether it be strangers or children. With lots of time, patience and rewards, rabbits can be potty trained but it takes much longer than other pets. Instead of using just one litter box, try to spread a couple around the house so they won't be tempted to do it in a corner. Eating Habits German Lops are characterized as herbivores. Their diet is primarily composed of vegetables, pellets, and haze. Hay is essential for both dental and digestive health. Grass hays like oat, orchard, and timothy may be fed in unlimited volume. Alfalfa, on the other hand, is rich in calories and must, therefore, be provided sporadically. Sleeping Habits German lops sleep during the daytime. Dusk and dawn are their main activity periods. When the rabbit is snoozing or relaxed, you will notice it either lie on its stomach with its back legs extended behind him or lie sideways. These pets may also sleep upright. Development and Reproduction Rabbit kits are delivered naked, deaf, and blind. They start to grow hair a few days after they were born. Their ears and eyes are likely to open on the 10th day. These newly born rabbits are not capable of regulating their body temperature until they reach their 7th day. Rebreeding may happen any moment after the delivery. If a doe is not able to nurture all kits efficiently, the kits may be harbored by taking them out from the nest box on their first three days. They are given to a doe of similar age with the same litter. Does only nurse once or twice a day. Kits are detached at around four to five weeks of their age. Although kits can be brought up by hand, the rate of death can be relatively high. They must be kept dry, warm, and quiet. Handlers may use a kitten milk substitute, or a mixture of half cup evaporated milk, one tablespoon corn syrup, half cup of water, and one egg yolk. Feedings differ from half teaspoon to two tablespoons, relying on the age. These kits begin feeding grains at about 15 to 18. Preventing illnesses. Several ways can help prevent illnesses in your German lob. Worming your pet will prevent the little white worms which appear like white flecks in perfectly structured feces. Preventing these worms will greatly help your pet from getting sick because these worms can potentially strip your rabbit of its much required nutrition. It is also important that you maintain cleanliness in the surrounding. Use proper medications before little concerns become a huge one. 
You may use penicillin injection or neosporin to inhibit illnesses from gashes. For babies to be kept alive, utilize a water treatment such as teramycin powder before coccidiosis penetrates them. It will be wise to do this before manifestations exhibit, as commonly when symptoms show up, there is nothing else that can be done. If you notice plenty of flies in your barn, use some kind of fly killer that is rabbit safe. Eliminating the flies would imply minimal maggots, minimal foul odors, and less probability of fly strike. It is also significant to remember that if you do not regularly clip the nails, even in a tidy cage, they can still pull or injure the nail and may lead to a noxious infection that directs to toe, nail loss, or illness. Bear in mind that bacteria reside anywhere and only waits to be brought into the bloodstream. Proper nutrition and exercise also play a vital role in maintaining the health of a German lob. Healthy rabbits are hardly affected by illnesses. Enclosure Whether German lops are placed indoors or outdoors, their enclosure should have enough space to allow the rabbits to comfortably stretch and loosen up, with a lot of space to move around. When placed outdoors, the enclosures need to have a shield against the affecting elements such as heat, cold, rain, sun, and more. Outdoor enclosures must be inclined from the surface and must have a ramp that directs to the ground to facilitate the roaming of the rabbit. Indoor enclosures, on the other hand, require just a significant space but may be built of wire, provided that they have a firm bottom. The bottom must be laid through hay, regularly clean, and should be entirely replaced every six to eight days. The size of the enclosure must be five times the size of the rabbit. There should be sleeping quarters or a hideaway box for the rabbit to sleep. Care Requirements German Lops have an average lifespan of 12 years. These breeds have a longer lifespan compared to other breeds of rabbits, raising them as pets is a commitment. You should always be mindful of temperature alterations as well as local predators. If your pet is spending much of its time indoors, see to it that you remove it from its enclosure as soon as you arrive home. This will give your pet time to explore its environment in a rabbit-safe room. Before you get a German Lop, you should think first about where it is about to live. These creatures can do great when kept in a hutch outdoors, although any kind of hutch must be waterproof and weather safe and should be away from direct sun and wind. If you can position the hutch in a place that is properly lit and ventilated shed, then this would be great. To make sure that they are appropriately socialized, these rabbits should spend at least four hours a day to be out from their enclosure. They should be allowed to delve into their environments and also motivate interaction with a human, whether they are kids or strangers. Although any handler must be familiar with the proper conservation as well as the proper caring of a rabbit, the German Lop is an ideal rabbit, to begin with, because of its calm personality and its manageable size. German Lops require space and freedom to explore and exercise, and you will need to ensure that space is rabbit-proofed against gnawing and nibbling. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.